Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chandler's Rose. This is Rose, and I am making for the first soap tonight. I'm recreating a soap called First Mate that I made a little while ago that unfortunately didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Um, I broke the cardinal rule of do not get distracted while soaping and I allowed my daughter to distract me and I ended up leaving out eight ounces of olive oil. So um, in fact I can show you This was the soap I originally created, and I'm going to recreate it this time, but I'm going to use greens, or green and a couple of blues to create this soap um, because I love anything dealing with anything nautical, and especially if it's dealing with pirates, I love it. I absolutely love it and uh, I did have I have my Pirates Cove line which is inspired by the Pirates of the Caribbean movies I just I love it I absolutely love it so what I'm going to do is make a two pound loaf but I have just a little bit extra for the top and I'm actually going to pipe the top and I know you're saying oh my gosh why pipe if it's ocean or nautical why not just make waves well there's two reasons one I am trying to learn how to pipe two the soap isn't going up for sale anybody who's been with me for a while know I've closed down my business and now I just make um, soaps as something that I just like to do. So I'm going to put in the first color in here. Oh, I got my little handy dandy tool that I told some of you all about. And this didn't come. I didn't get all of it out like I wanted to. So let me just mix it up again. See if that gets it out. Yep, gets it out. I'm not going for a heavy, heavy dark blue. I do want it to be light. Because I don't want the bottom of the sea. I want kind of like um, when you're out to sea and you see the surf come in and it's got that light blue going. That's what I really am aiming for. The, the different tones of blue with, um, with the different ocean. You know, I'm the Atlantic. I, I didn't realize this until I actually lived on the West Coast, uh, the, how just varied the two oceans really do look in real life. It's actually, it's cool, but kind of disappointing at the same time, but oh well. Anyway, so the fragrances that I'm, or the fragrance blend that I'm using is something that I created myself um, for the Chandler's Rose, and I created it a while back and it's got notes of it's got ocean it's got green apple and it's got some citrus to it and a little bit of musk and I know you're probably saying oh my gosh that is the worst fragrance combination but I promise you 
it smells so good. And anybody who has bought my oils before in the past when I was open as a company, they can tell you, it may sound weird and funky, but it actually is absolutely amazing. So, hopefully, um, I can get the colors to do what I need for them to do. And what I'm about to do is give these each a couple seconds pulse. But first, I add in a little bit of cream. And with the cream, or the coconut milk is what this is. What the coconut milk does is if you have a fragrance oil that rices on you, this will help to stop or uh, slow down the process. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and weigh out two ounces of the fragrance. Of this fragrance. It smells so good. So I only, because I'm not sure, I know before, because of the colorants and everything, and my recipe, uh, it's already thickening up already, so I need to move. Just pour a little bit. cleaned off. Try to get as much of this dark blue off before I put it in the other one. And I am soaping at room temperature. Um, I actually made my lye water earlier this afternoon, like maybe around one o'clock. Saving some of that so I can pipe. And then I made my, um, melted my oils at four, between 4.30 and 4.45. and the green okay so clean that off clean this one off Now with these, what I'm going to do is do kind of a ocean spray type look to it. Pour this in. Uh-oh. I have just sloshed fragrance oil everywhere. Starting to feel like that lady, the uh, messy soaper. Though I don't create as well as she does. She's got some amazing, amazing, I think it's Royal, Royal Apple Soaps is her company. 
She does amazing, amazing soaps. She really does. Alright, so I'm just give this a quick. And honestly, I don't mind if the blues, the blue and the green muddle on this one just a little bit. Because even though this one is called First Mate, I really think of the Dead Man's Chest with this one. And um, Skarsgård, who played Will Turner Sr. I love him. I love him and everything I've seen him in, whether he's playing a good guy or a bad guy. Okay. All right. I love Bill Nighy too. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He played Davy Davy Jones. Now, clean this off. And I started over here, so before it thickens up too much, I want to grab some from the bottom and just bring it up into the other layer. So we are going to do on one side, actually, I'm gonna get the top together. And then what I'm going to do is add some waves on one side, and then I'm going to actually have some seashells some smaller seashells. She sells seashells by the seashore. So, see if I can do a, actually a wave pattern. I might have to fill this in more. Let me see. See if I can get that come right down the middle. Oop, oh. It would help if I would stop flicking my soap everywhere. All right, and this, that's really pretty. That's really what I was going for. So, this one comes down a bit. I wanna keep some to actually Pipe. The green, for some strange reason, is not setting up as quickly as the other two. No bueno. I needed to set up just a smidge faster. Alright. So what we're going to do is try this again. So... Right now, it kind of reminds me of the ocean sand. You know, on the beach, there's some aerial photos of people taking pictures on the beach. So, actually see if I can do, maybe I should do beach, swoop, swoop. Conch shell, conch shell, conch shell. Conch shell, conch shell, conch shell, conch shell, conch shell, conch. And I am saying conch. For anybody who can't catch that, I am saying conch. Nothing else. All right. 
All right, so I'm do is just give you a quick preview and then I'm gonna pause you. So this is what it's looking like right now. I will be back once I'm ready to pipe. 